Assalamu alaikum my dear students if you remember last time in our first lecture we were discussing about elimination reaction so we have uh, discussed about E1 elimination reaction then I told you that time we have two types of elimination reaction E1 and E2 so let me remind you and give some more practice uh, problems on E1 elimination reaction then I will uh, start E2 elimination reaction and if possible we will try to uh, focus on oxidation reduction reaction also E1 as you know E1 is elimination and unimolecular because the rate determining step uh, involves only one molecule that is why it is unimolecular let me give you one more example If we have this molecule, we have to give E1 elimination reaction. So, if you see what will be the name of this compound, 1 bromo, 1, 2, dimethyl cyclohexane. Now, if we have to give, you know, in E1 elimination reaction, we have two steps. Number one, is uh, formation of tertiary carbocation and the second step is abstraction of hydrogen from the beta carbon so you know this the carbon where this uh, halide is attached we are saying it alpha carbon so this will be beta carbon and this will be also beta carbon so we have possibility of uh, possibility of two possibility of release of two hydrogens two beta hydrogen either from one either from two either from here, either from here. So you know then we have to use Z Z-Savers rule. The highly substituted alkene will be the major product. So let me show you. So in step number one, what will happen? In the presence of alcoholic KOH. So this alcoholic KOH, this strong base, it will give us OH minus. Now the first step is carbocation formation. So in carbocation formation, this curve, this will go like this. So there will be positive charge. This is tertiary carbocation. You know the carbon at where the carbon where halide is attached, there is no hydrogen. One alkyl group, one group, one group. So no hydrogen, there is tertiary alkyl halide. So this tertiary carbocation. In second step, what will happen this? This tertiary carbocation in presence of OH minus. So there is possibility of release of hydrogen either from here or from here you got it so if hydrogen will be released from here double bond will come here so there is possibility of double bond here this is if I consider it as a this will be B. Then what will be the other product? Sorry. So there is this possibility. Now if you see what is the name of this compound? 1, 2, 1, 2, dimethyl. cyclohexene this is also 1 2 dimethyl this is also 1 2 dimethyl cyclohexene now the point is here uh, if we have to numbering this it is it we have to start from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 so once it is dimethyl cyclohexene but this is minor product this is unstable product this is major product now why it is major product? Because this double bond here, 
it is highly substituted by beta heterogens. If you see here, beta heterogen, beta heterogen. More the number of beta heterogens, more is the stable alkene <coughs> compared to this. Now this is one more example for you. Now I will give you some more practice problems related to it however as a homework. Alcoholic potassium hydroxide. You have to give mechanism. Number two. Mechanism. So you have to give mechanism of all these three reactions, stepwise mechanism. First step will be the formation of tertiary carbocation. Second step will be the abstraction of hydrogen from the beta carbon. Accordingly, you can uh, give me the answer and send it to me, send it to me and attach to my module. Now you know, uh, if you remember, we were saying there are two types of, gen generally two types of elimination reaction, one is E1, one is E2. Let me discuss now E2. In E2, generally we are using primary and secondary alkyl halides. Alkyl halides. The, the problem with primary and secondary alkyl halides, they are, they are, uh, there is formation of uh, primary and secondary carbocation. So primary and secondary carbocation are much, they are much less stable than tertiary carbocation. That is why in this E2 it is coming by concerted, concerted one step mechanism. It is a one step mechanism. So how, let me give you some example. For example, if we have What is the name of the compound? 1, 2, 3, 4. 2 bromo, 2 bromo butane. So we have this carbon, we will say it, this is alpha carbon. This carbon will be beta, this carbon will be beta carbon. Now hydrogen is here. Here hydrogen is 3. Here how many hydrogens? 2 hydrogens. So we have here three hydrogen here, two hydrogen. These are called the beta hydrogens. This is called alpha carbon, these are beta carbon, so these hydrogens are beta hydrogens. So what is happening here when we are doing this reaction in presence of alcoholic alcoholic KOH, it is releasing OH minus. It is a strong base. So once this is coming out from here, once it is coming from here. It, so it will become positive charge. But at the, at the same time, this OH is attacking either this hydrogen or this hydrogen. So it now it may so now it depends upon the stable product. As per the Z series rule, it can attack on this, it can attack on the but the most favorable product is when it is attacking this hydrogen. So this OH it will suppose it will attack, it will attack on this carbon because it will come out so it will go like this it will come out as H positive they will make they will make water H positive plus OH minus they will make water this bromine plus K plus bromine minus it will make KBr so what will be the product this double bond will come here we will be having possibility of two products this is one possibility and if this hydrogen has been removed from this carbon, 
then double bond will come here so if I say now this is A this is B so this is A product and this one is B what would be the B now? so it would be the name this is butene butene 2 this is butene 1 so as per Sisyphus rule, as per Z Sisyphus rule, this is the major product, this is minor product. As per the reporters, it is near about it is near about 81%, it is near about 19%. This is about E2. So it is one step mechanism, concerted mechanism. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What will be the name? 2 bromo. 2 bromo hexane. So this carbon will be alpha, this carbon and this carbon they are beta. Beta. So heterogeneous from this carbon, heterogen from this carbon, they are beta heterogeneous now. In presence of alcoholic KOH, OH minus will come out from this. So what will be the mechanism? This bromine will come out. Here will be positive charge. So from here and from here hydrogen. Suppose if hydrogen will come out from here, suppose A, if hydrogen will come out in second case from here, it will be B. So if it will come out from A, for example, this hydrogen, it will come here. What will be that? What will be the double bond? Double bond will come here. What will be the product? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2. So we will be having this result. Now, double bond will come here. Plus, there is possibility of another, this may be in, in this, this is A, so B will be, if we will remove hydrogen from this carbon, double bond will come here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, hexene 1, this is hexene 2, this is the major product, this is the minor product. So this we are deciding as per the Z series rule. So keep in mind. Now if I will give some practice problems related to it, you have to do it, you have to uh, work out them at home and send me the feedback. I hope you understand the mechanism. So the mechanism is very clear, it is very uh, short mechanism, one step mechanism, you have to show here, here, bromine will come out, it will connect with, it will react, react with K, K, K positive, it will become KBR. Similarly, there is possibility of uh, abstraction of hydrogen from two carbons, either this carbon or this carbon, because these are called beta carbons. So, hydrogen is attached with them are called beta hydrogen, beta hydrogen. So, there is possibility of this hydrogen, so generally it will become hexene 2. If, uh, uh, if there is an abstraction of hydrogen from this carbon, it will become hexene 1. This one is major product, this one is minor product as per Z series rule or we can say Sisyphus rule. Now, I will give you some examples of uh, some practice problems for E2 reaction. Number 1. the mechanism give the mechanism give the mechanism of the reaction. Now we have another type of reaction that is oxidation reduction reaction. You know we can also say it is called a redox, a redox reaction. 
So before starting this reaction, we should know what is oxidation. Oxidation in general we were seeing loss of electrons. Yeah, we will say gain of oxygen. Yeah, we can say removal of hydrogen. Are both. These two are complete. so either they will be a gain of oxygen or removal of hydrogen or they will be both. Now this is one term. Number two is reduction. What is reduction? It is opposite. So if you see here, loss here will be gain of electrons. So here it is gain of oxygen. Here we can say addition of oxygen, addition of hydrogen. Instead of oxygen, we will say here hydrogen. Here it is removal of uh, hydrogen. We can say removal of oxygen. The release of oxygen. Yeah, we can see both alternatively. So this is the basic definition of oxidation and reduction. Now let me give you some examples of uh, oxidation reduction reactions. Now let, let me give you some simple examples of oxidation reduction reactions. Suppose if I will take this one. CH3, CH3. What is the name? Ethane. So if we will go for oxidation of this reaction, there is release of two hydrogens. It will give CH2, CH2, double bond. And again, if we will go for oxidation, it will release again hydrogen. You know, release of hydrogen is also oxidation. So it will give CH triple bond CH. Now I will tell you in terms of our definitions which we were discussing before before this. What is oxidation? What is reduction? If you see what is the oxidation number of carbon here, it is minus three because two carbon plus six hydrogens is equal to zero. Two carbon will be minus six. Carbon will be minus six over two. It will be minus three. If you see oxidation number of carbon here, it is minus 2. It is here minus 1. Now, if you compare this minus 3, oxidation number of carbon minus 3, here minus 2, here it is minus 2. If you go through forward direction, this way there is oxidation. If you come in reverse direction, there is reduction. So, those reactions where there is oxidation and reduction taking place simultaneously, we are saying them uh, redox reactions or oxidation reduction reactions. We will continue this topic uh, in next lecture also. The in there I will show you some hydrocarbons, what is happening to them, if they will be undergoing oxidation, there is first hydrocarbon, hydrocarbon will give alcohol, after alcohol, alcohol will give aldehyde, so it is not easy to stop oxidation of aldehyde, aldehyde will give carboxylic acid. Similarly, if we will take alcohol, if we will take primary alcohol, if we will take secondary alcohol, so we will get different products. So, next lecture, inshallah, we are going to discuss some more exercises, more examples related to redox reaction. So, till now, I think it is okay. Thank you.